Today I'm going to be flashing the uh, ice cream sandwich leak for my Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket uh, for AT&T, although I use it on uh, Straight Talk. Okay, several things before we flash this. Um, one thing, uh, whenever we flash this ice cream sandwich, it has to be done through Odin. And I'll have a link in the description linking you over to Roots Wiki that has uh, that'll have the the mirror and the file that you can uh, download this Odin file to be able to flash this ice cream sandwich to your uh, to your phone. Now, right now we have to use Odin to do that, but honestly, there'll probably be a flashable zip that you can flash in uh, Clockwork Mod. Probably, well, not within days, but probably within hours you can do that. But for now, uh, still having to use Odin to be able to flash uh, this ice cream sandwich to our Skyrocket. One thing that I've read, and and I have not flashed this yet, so uh, and let me show you real quick that I'm on that I'm on Gingerbread here. See right there, still on 2.3.6. I have not flashed over to uh, to ice cream sandwich yet so this will be the first time I'm doing it now from what I've read when you flash this ice cream sandwich it will wipe your internal SD card so make sure you back that up before you flash this through Odin or you're gonna lose all that lose the pictures that you've taken that have been stored to your internal SD and, and all that type of stuff so make sure you back that up before you flash this okay now before I have before I'm able to flash this in Odin I have to have the proper Samsung drivers uh, for my computer to be to be able to recognize this and if you have not used Odin yet I suggest that you go over to XDA and find um, go to the Skyrocket forum and look at some of the general threads uh, some of those stickied uh, threads about flashing in general and, and, t and teaching you how to use Odin and how to get those Samsung drivers I would really uh, suggest that you go look at that before you do this if you have not used Odin yet so I've already got the Samsung drivers on my computer. I've already downloaded uh, the file from Roots Wiki, and it's this file right here. And this is going <clears> to <throat> be this Odin one click, and it's just going to be kind of all in one deal and be a very simple way to be able to flash ice cream sandwich. Okay, so I'm ready to ready to do it. So it's what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the battery. Now I'm going to put the battery back in, but do not turn your your phone back on. Okay, so I'm not going to push the power button here at all. Okay, the phone's still off. I'm going to open my open this Odin Okay, that's open. Now, my phone is still off. And it's what I'm going to do is do not hit the power button. Just hit the volume up and down at the same time. Do not hit the power button. Keep holding volume up and down. I've already got my Odin file open. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my USB cable and I'm going to plug this in. Still holding volume up and down. Okay, volume up to continue. Uh, it says custom OS can cause critical problems. So we're in download mode here. Now you can see that uh, Samsung has built in a deal here to be able to count to see whether you flash these custom ROMs or not. So I want to say that now. Uh, be careful when you flash anything. Um, Samsung has figured out a way to be able to, to see how many times you flash this. So your warranty will be will be void, and also I want to say that uh, I'm not responsible for anything that might that might happen uh, doing this to your doing this to your phone because I mean you're doing things that, that the manufacturer is not uh, necessarily endorsing. This is a leak, but it's still not endorsed by the manufacturer. Okay, so you can see here I'm in download mode now.
Okay, I'm in download mode. You can see there on Odin now, it wasn't there before, but now it shows a yellow bar. That shows that the computer has recognized my phone and it's ready to flash this. So I'm just going to push start and let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. Went through, uh, total flash time was probably about seven and a half to eight minutes, something like that. So, hey, hey. there we go. Okay, cancel that. Okay, let's... <clears throat> Cool. Four point zero point three. Okay, and then under settings, this will be one reason that I like it for sure. It has a native data uh, data usage counter built into it, especially with me being on straight talk, and that's help out a lot to have that. Cool. Well, there you go. It seems like it's pretty fluid now. Uh, I've heard of a few little hiccups with, with this ROM, but uh, of course I just loaded it. I have no idea how to play with it more, but it seems like it's pretty fluid for now. So there you go.